uh, Gay Jardinar. Um, this is another topic that has uh, been very uh, frequently asked and used from the QDM side is the ability to create a Gay Jardinar report uh, from within QDM. Um, so I'm going to um, uh, load a data. Let me uh, open. Um, start with um, Start with the blank template, blank gauge in R and R template. So a gauge R and R template is nothing but uh, it's it's the same template. The only type is the report. Uh, the, uh, the the charts are changed to what we call a gauge R and R chart. Um, so instead of having a composite chart or a trend chart, there is a chart type called uh, gauge R and R, and uh, you basically using that gauge R and R chart type or convert your charts into gauge R and R chart type. When you're using this type of chart and you've created a report, so we've created a template with a gauge R and R, but there's no data in it has not been specified. So everything is NA right now. Um, I am going to apply gauge R and R. We have loaded the data with the 30 samples. But when I go to gauge R and R, it, it gives me a gauge R and R interface where you can assign what is the trial one, trial two, trial three data based on operator A, B, and C, and for different parts. So this interface, let's kind of just in the interest of time, I'm gonna make the smallest uh, uh, variation. So let's say there are three parts, two operators, and two trials. And I've loaded my data. Um, so I'm going to assign what will be my trial one's data for operator one. So these are the 30 samples that I've loaded into the system. I'm going to assign part one as trial one operator one, part two as trial one operator, uh, trial two operator A, part three as trial one operator, oh, sorry, uh, uh, trial one, part three for operator A. Similarly for trial two, I'm going to use the, the four, five, and six because you could, you, your, your file names could be totally different and random once you load in the data it uh, this allow this interface allows you uh, gives you a universal interface to assign what you want to assign for these uh, grid of matrix of uh, data. So here I'm going to go with uh, sorry seven, um, seven eight and nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and keep going and fill the whole grid. But right now, this is all I need minimum to create uh, the um, uh, the gauge R and R. And you could reassign the samples, or you can change what what type of study you want. All those interfaces are done here where you set the thing, and I could okay that. Once I okay, now you look at it. All my charts have uh, populated with the data. Um, so, and it also tells me pass fail for each one. Uh, I'm going to kind of go to one of them and then just make it full screen. So you can see the results of a gauge R and R for a certain feature. So we have the repeatability, reproducibility, part variation, range analysis, and gauge R and R calculated for each feature based on that matrix that we put together. Um, matrix of parts and samples that were loaded. So now I have a gauge R and R graphical report, and I can also export that to a custom export to a gauge R and R. Uh, uh, Excel file, so that can be used for any downstream gauge R and R type of reporting. But uh, gives you a quick way to manage your gauge R and Rs. If you want to reassign your samples um, and go back to gauge R and R, maybe I don't want to use part six. I'd like it because there's a problem. I'd like to use part seven, remeasure it. Whatever the things are, reassign samples. So it gives you an interface to manage your data to create your um, gauge R and R report. Uh, a graphical gauge R and R report for each feature with all the calculations. And of course you can show and hide different things so that you, if you only want to show gauge R and R, don't want to show reproducibility and repeatability. If you're only doing one trial, then you would choose those, only those sections of it. So it's a configurable tool for that. But the ability to be able to assign uh, different samples is what this particular topic of uh, gauge R and R enhancement is. I'm going to close this.